out, what's up YouTube, um, got a quick uh, unclo over unclocking, overclocking video for you today um, on my AMD Phenom 2 955 processor, basically what I've done is overclocked it from 3.2 to 3.6, pretty simple, I'll just go about how show, to show you how I did that, um, if we go into performance control, not performance control, yeah performance control, then go to CPU see there CPU the clock voltage basically this is in the AMD overdrive utility this isn't where I overclocked it I went to the BIOS and uh, set it in there so it doesn't have to um, every time you start uh, and boot the PC it doesn't have to do it through AMD overdrive it does it automatically um, which I think is better and more stable um, so basically it's running at 3600 megahertz in the target speed and the current speed as before you may not for some people this happens it runs at the current speed it runs at 800 megahertz when it's 3.2 meaning it's running at half speed which is kind of stupid I don't know why it does that anyway what I did was I set the core CPU multiplier at six, 18 times sorry 18 uh, that's for all the cores and I set the uh, HT multiplier well that was already set 10 times I kinda left it but I did uh, up the CPU NB multiplier to 10 times meaning the Northbridge speed there is running at 2000 megahertz Two, yeah 2000 megahertz and I left the voltages as they were because I didn't really need to adjust them and it's running at auto which isn't too bad and it's running at a temp of about 42 at idle and I'm gonna run a stress test after this well a couple of stress tests see see if it blue screens on me or anything like that and then maybe see if I have to change the voltages around or anything if we can see there we can see what kind of voltage we got yeah that's pretty good and if we go to the memory we shall see that it's. I also overclocked this to 800. The memory clock is at 800 now. As before, it was at 6, 6 600 or 666. Six, I can't remember. Something like that. And anyway, so now it's running at 1600 megahertz. Uh, before, it used to run at 1333 because um, that is what the. Uh, MSI 790FX automatically sets any RAM at that you put inside there so you've got to overclock it yourself uh, so I did that and I also left the voltages at auto um, so it's running uh, pretty stable and I don't have to adjust any of the voltages around uh, yeah so it's not doing too bad what's up yo I'm back um, Right, I'm running the stress test now. It's been going for about 40 minutes, and let's see what temps we're getting. 51. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's with, um, if we click on here, a hundred percent of all the cores running at max, uh, and it's only using 2.54 gigabytes of the four gigabytes I've got in there at the moment, which isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, stress test going well. See it to blue screen. Um, let's see, let's check out this. 51 degrees, low 39, high 51, and it's running at 3.6 gigahertz, which is good. So yeah, that's basically the stress test running right now. Um, cool. Um, run a benchmark after this. All right. So what's up? Uh, finished the uh, benchmark after an hour. The benchmark went in about the stability test. It's been about an hour yet, yeah. and it's running completely stable as of yet. It hasn't blue screened yet, which is good. So it's running 3.6, um, 3.6 um, from 3.2, and all the voltages are set to auto, and it's at 1600 megahertz. RAM that's 4 gigs at 1600 megahertz and it's running completely stable. Temps have gone down to uh, can't really see it there, right there 43, 42. And at the moment, when it was at its highest, 
at its highest. It was about 52, sorry about that, you can't really see. Um, so yeah, it's doing pretty good. Um, at the moment, I am just quickly downloading 3D Mark 06, so I can run a quick benchmark for you, see what kind of uh, uh, FPS and stuff I get um, in the benchmark, and what score I get with my overclock CPU. So yeah, I'll do that, um, and I'll catch you after that. Okay, YouTube.